Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the third episode of the second season of The Mandalorian. Last time we saw Mando taking a frog lady to have her eggs fertilised by her husband. In return for transporting her, Mando would get information on where there were more Mandalorians. They ran into trouble when a couple of X-Wings inquired about his identity. After a chase, Mando performed a hard landing of the Razor Crest, which then crashed through the ice into a cavern, suffering pretty major damage. We were then treated to a bit of a horror film homage, where a load of alien spider facehuggers and their mother chased our travellers down. The X-Wing pilots returned and rescued them, but still left them on the planet with a heavily damaged ship. The Razor Crest managed to take off, and we left it limping to its destination. Oh, and the child ate some of the eggs, and I'm still hoping he's keeping them safe and will regurgitate them later on. I really hope that's what happens. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here. And at the end of the episode, I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about it. And I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> it's not even flying straight. It's kind of just because the one engine's not functioning properly, so he's having to correct all the time for the different thrust. Looks like we made it. Get ready for landing. I think it might be a bit bumpy. Okay, so tilt it up a bit then to... Um, yeah, so for the... Acts like a heat shield. And slow its descent. Ranger Crest, this is traffic flight control. Please reduce your speed to port protocol. I'm trying my best to... <laughs> yes! I doubt he's doing it on purpose. Oh god, this bit's flying off. God. I love the way everyone leapt to help them. Oh, of course, they were in an airtight cockpit. That ship's a right off. Fix it. I can make it fly. Fix it? No, but I can make it fly. I suppose I could fix the, out, the basics so it could fly, but again, not fix the. not make it airtight. Is he going to look and say, hey, where's half the kids gone? They're doing a lot of uh, mysterious stranger shots in the series. I like the way they're doing a lot of uh, the same sort of species, because um, obviously it's their planet. They've got other species as well, but the majority of that species, obviously by the sea, um, I'm assuming it's their planet. I like that. But it's obviously a, a port hub as well, so there's going to be other species there mingling. I can buy something else. Information. So he took that woman to the planet because he get information about more Mandalorians. They point him in this direction and now he's still got to pay for more information. I think he got a bit done here. Don't play with your food. <laughs> I think the food's playing with him. You seek others of your kind. Good makeup. I can bring you to them. <laughs> Why did he laugh? This isn't going to be good. No! Oh. Best car is ours. God, that's be hard being underwater with a helmet. I'm assuming the helmet's gonna be filling with water. The way he's gasping. How many of them are there? Three. Job done. Well, hopefully the child closed the hatch. Yes. Oh, dented though. I've been quested to deliver this child. I was hoping that. Uh. Not Mandalorians. 
I am Bo-Katan. You are a child of the Watch. Children of the Watch are a cult of religious zealots that broke away from Mandalorian society. Their goal was to reestablish the ancient way. There is only one way. The way of the Mandalore. That does seem to be the way that everyone knows. Which implies that they're the ones who do things differently. You kill my brother. Well, he tried to kill them. You're not going to win. You see that Imperial Gazanti freighter? It's being loaded with weapons as we speak. Troopers? A squad at most. And they couldn't hit the side of a bank. <laughs> they never can. <laughs> Can I leave him with you for a bit? Ooh. That's a big thing for him to trust them. You, so I want you to be respectful. Oh. And mind your manners. And don't eat the eggs. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's not the best place to leave him, actually. That's a nice shot. They're, how incompetent are they? <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> just drop him. Why do they make those corridors with those areas to hide behind? That's just a tactically really bad design. If all the stormtroopers have those helmets on, you'd think they'd have some tech in there to let them do that as well, to be able to see through um, smoke and infrared. We need to hold them off until we can make the jump to hyperspace. Then they're trapped. But you're not gonna. I think we have them trapped, sir. <laughs> trapped them where? In the cargo control area. <laughs> <laughs> if they've taken that much of the ship, you know what to do. I don't recognize the voice. Long. Oh, live. it is him. The Empire. Didn't sound like him. Suicide? Yep. Wow. Take them all out. So the armor can pretty much take anything. I mean, the shots didn't penetrate the armor, but the impact of them hitting the armor was hurting him. Where is it? There's what? There's what? The Dark Saber. So they're after Moff Gideon's Dark Saber. <laughs> That's a nice shot. You might let me live. He won't. But he won't. And he's already just tried to commit suicide, so he's. That was gonna happen. Take the foundling to the city of Kaladin on the forest planet of Corvus. There you'll find Ahsoka Tano. This is the way. This is the way. Well, that's kind of a merger of the ways. <laughs> that would be so cool to be able to jump off like that and be able to fly. <laughs> That does not look pretty. It's <laughs> just held together with rope and fishing nets. <laughs> so is hyperdrive. Uh, uh. Hope that wasn't. Uh, oh, this was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. Hope that was an essential part that flew off them. Okay. So it was an alright episode that one. Um, so we met. I haven't seen uh, the Clone Wars uh, or the other um, animated series, but I do know that um, I've actually got a little cheat sheet to remind me of the names. Uh, Bo-Katan Kreese um, is a character. In that, I know it's voiced by. Uh, she's voiced by. Um, I can never remember her name, but the actress, uh, Battlestar Galactica. Um, oh, completely gone from my head. Uh, but I'll have information uh, up here. 
Um, but I know she voices her, so it's good that they brought her back as the actual character. That's really cool. And they obviously mentioned uh, that he's now on his way to see um, ah ah Ahsoka. Uh, and I know she's also a character uh, from the animated series. And I know she's going to be played by Rosario Dawson. Um, so, yeah, that looks like that's going to happen in the next episode. It is very much, uh, is there, is there an end to this journey? It's kind of a find someone, where are they? Off we go. Next place, where are they? Here we go. Um, and he spent a lot of money and not getting much in return. Um, I mean, that trip with the, the frog lady um, wasn't paid money, I don't think. It was purely for the information that he did the journey. So he's using up all his financial reserves to to um pay people off <laughs> semi fix the uh the ship how that thing is still flying i don't know um i mean, this bits flying off all over the place um the structural damage i mean when it landed when it fell through the ice and it landed it looked like it kind of buckled so structurally it would be falling apart it wouldn't hold up especially and then it flew through the atmosphere i just don't and then obviously into the water <laughs> um, i mean fair play if it keeps going that's a ship to keep hold of um so yeah so he's now looking for the jedi not just mandalorians so maybe next Oh yeah, well Ahsoka, uh, if I remember rightly, is a Jedi. Um, so, yeah. Let's see what happens in the next episode. Let me know what you thought about this one in the comments below. And uh, shall be seeing you.